Hi there, this is College Advisor Maya, uh, back with another YouTube video. So today we're gonna talk about advanced placement credits and exams, ooh, AP. So um, a lot of you, many of you are either already taking AP classes or are planning on taking AP classes at some point in high school. So advanced placement classes are basically just classes that are going to be higher level of like studying and like academics um, and close more close to like a college level sort of class so it is something that you're able to take in high school and then at the end of the class you take an exam and on that exam whatever score you get will determine you know if that class can be counted as college credit at the college that you're going to so we're going to talk about what it looks like to look up like those college credits and seeing like which you know, what score you have to get on the exam in order for it to transfer as college credit. And we're just gonna show you how to do that today. All right, sharing screen. So this is the College Board homepage. homepage. <laughs> so um, this has tons of information about the different like AP exams and just information about like studying, how to study. Um, getting started, so figuring out, you know, how do you sign up? Which classes do you choose? Um, you know, where do you take the exam? And of course, right now, they're they're online um, because of everything happening with COVID-19. You know, where do you get your scores? How to send them? So in order, obviously, in order for the credits to count as college credits, the college has to know that you took the classes. So you definitely have to make sure you send the scores to the colleges that you're looking at. And then this is information about um, searching. So you sign into your college board account, makeup exams, there's some different information on staying up to date with things, deadlines, the benefits of taking AP classes. So it's definitely a good thing to do, especially that it can count for college credit. Um, and it also, you know, looks good on your transcript and your GPA is going to be weighted a little bit differently as well. So um, when you hear about weighted and unweighted GPAs, that's basically what it means. So it's like, so once you start taking um, college level classes and advanced placement classes, then you'll start hearing about your GPA being on a, a five point scale instead of like a 4.0 scale or, you know, however your school does it, it'll be different though. So this is what we're going to be talking about. So looking at the different policies that each college has. So you just really want to make sure, um, cause taking AP and everything is great and you know, all that. Um, but you definitely just want to make sure that the credit is going to count and that you're going to be able to use it at the college that you're going to. Um, and then here's just a list of like the different classes you can take. Um, and they have like a YouTube channel for like studying and stuff. All right, so we're gonna start a search. Um, let's just search by college. Okay, um, let's say we are interested in Rockhurst. Yes, sir. All right, Rockhurst, KSMO, Rockhurst grants credit to high school graduates who have proved their competence by their scores on the test administered by, yep, okay. Scores of four or five may result in the granting, granting of college credit and a score of three will allow consideration of advanced placement in the subject. So um, you just have to make sure you submit your scores to the Office of the Registrar and then for more information, boom, you can go to their website. So here's a nice little chart. Um, and this is something just important to look at. So offers credit for qualifying Qualifying scores, that's a no. So Rockhurst doesn't offer credit based on your score, but they offer placement into advanced classes for based on your scores. So here are the different classes. Um, let's say we're doing AP Lang. So the minimum score required is a four on the test, and this results in six credits, and it looks like it'll count for two English classes at Rockhurst. For more information, we can view Rockhurst's actual website, which I always would say, you know, always double check on the actual college's website. So that way you get the most like up-to-date and accurate information. So like I'm college board, I'm pretty sure they're, you know, very up-to-date and they update everything often, but just to, you know, triple check, definitely just go to the college's website. So right here, they have a breakdown. If you take actual college credit, Credit hours that go towards your college degree. If you take advanced placement, you can skip introductory college classes and enter higher level courses. So here's just, you know, the list again um, of what they score credits and then the equivalency of like what class that that would count for. 
So that's a good way to look it up. Um, we're not going to get too much into IB because IB isn't offered in very many places in Kansas City, except for like Lincoln and Sumner. Um, I'm pretty sure maybe one other school in like Lee Summit. All right, so just looking at it um, from another college's perspective, obviously we're going to look at K-State's always. K-State's is on a separate kind of website you can look up. All right, select the exam. We're going to select AP exams. Which test? We're going to stick with our, our English Lang. English Lang search. All right. So you got to get a three or more, and it is going it is going to count for college credit. Oh, well, let's let's go back and see what it says. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. So no credit is given for scores of two or a one. It has to be minimum three or higher in order for it to count. And then, so yeah. So as long as you get a three or higher on AP Lang, then you should be good to go for it counting at K-State for three credits and it's going to count as the English 100 class. So, no. All right. UMKC, same thing. Sign up for test, test options, AP credit. Here's their list. Um, so, most of theirs are three. Uh, a couple of these are fours. There are lots to choose from. All right, English Lang, as long as we get a four, it's going to count as English 110 for three credits. And then, what's this over here? The UMKC core. So that just lets you know that it's going to go towards the core classes that you are required for everyone to take at UMKC. All right, next, UCM. Oh, and then I just Googled UMKC AP credits, K-State AP credits, UCM AP credits. Because sometimes it's a little harder finding things on college websites but for instance at UCM you can kind of see if you click on future students admissions and coming freshman early college credits that's where you'd be able to find it but you know Google is your friend Google is my friend I Google all the time all right so for UCM most of theirs are threes couple of fours in there where's our English Lang English Lang three it's going to count as English 1020 composition one for three credit hours boom so that is how you look up AP credits um, if you are interested in IB, so if you attend, you know, either Sumner or Lincoln or that one other school that may or may not be in Lee Summit that I cannot remember, um, it's pretty much the same process. So you would just look to see which classes you've taken and then what score you received on that. Um, so it's the same thing on all the websites. So you would click AP and you go, oh, nope, not that one. Right down here. They're all in the same kind of area. So wouldn't be too hard to find right there, International Baccalaureate, and then International Baccalaureate. Um, so lots of different ways to do that. So you can go straight to the college's website, or you can just use College Board's um, search option. Either way it goes, definitely, you know, do what you can. As far as getting help for everything, you know, like there's different things here. If you're taking the AP exams and stuff right now, or if you plan to take them next year, um, and then figuring out, you know, how to sign up and then choosing the classes and then coronavirus updates as well, which are very important. So definitely just utilize these different resources, um, the college websites, college boards website, and then for sure just ask um, your high school counselor, your college counselor about what AP classes are offered at your high school. And then um, just kind of go from there when you're putting together your schedule for everything and then just make sure, you know, whatever classes that you're taking that they're going to be able to transfer to the college that you're thinking about going to. So those are just a few examples, but of course, you know, just go to your college's website, whatever college you're thinking about, and they'll be able to let you know. And yeah, that's it for me. Please, you know, feel free to contact your college advisor for any questions regarding um, AP classes and college credit and just how all that stuff works. And then, you know, be sure to check out if you are taking college credit through a community college or another four year college, um, be sure to check out our other YouTube video on college credit. And then, um, yeah, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.